Hey everybody, it's Rob and Tasha and we are the Lackeys and we're, we're tripping. We're also tripping. <laughs> so we're gonna roll with that. Um, <laughs> if you watched our first video, it, it looked like judging by YouTube's statistics that uh, people were clicking on our video. There was a lot of rambling and we understand if you kind of trailed off and it yeah, was maybe a little it was boring. very long. The whole intention of that first video, I know it was a long rambly video, there wasn't a lot of fun footage. But the intention of that video was just to kind of explain why we're doing this. And it's something that maybe we feel like people will watch our future videos and then want to know how we got started and why we did this. And that whole first video explains all that. So if you haven't watched the first video, go back, take a look at it. If it doesn't pique your interest right now, we understand. Uh, but let's move on to episode two. So this is going to be a little bit more fun. Um, what are we going to talk about today? We are going to get the RV. Yeah, so uh, back when we decided to do this, there was a small circle of friends and family that knew what we were doing, but it came as a surprise to a lot of other people, and we had some fun with it. So we wanted to share our Facebook Live videos and then talk a little bit about our initial feelings when we picked up the RV, because it was kind of crazy. So before we show this first video, this is what we did. We found this RV. It's a Thor Outlaw Class A, and we've been looking at Class C's, Super C's. Uh, we really knew we wanted a motorhome, not a travel trailer or a fifth wheel, just because of the amount of traveling we're going to have to do and, and road time. So we found this Thor Outlaw floor plan. We really liked it, and there was one in Florida that was a really good deal. The colors, the options, everything that we wanted. I made a phone call to Palm RV in Fort Myers, and they worked with me over the phone. They did an awesome job, and we flew down, sight unseen, pick the RV up. But anyway, take a look at this Facebook Live video. This is as we were on our way to Fort Myers to pick up Rumble, the RV. Check it out. Um, so we're in Dallas at the airport. We're having, we have a layover. And uh, we're, connect, we're, we're catching a connecting flight to Tampa. So you might be wondering why we are going to Tampa on a Thursday night. It's kind of a weird time for us to be flying to Tampa uh, unannounced. So you know we, we put our house on the market and we're selling all our stuff and so a lot of people are like what are you guys doing and um, we're going to uh, Tampa tomorrow and then we're going to get a car and drive two hours and uh, we're going to look at the potential new lackey house so I know that's kind of freaky for everybody it's a little bit weird and it's not in Oklahoma or Kansas so I'm sorry Florida, it's, Florida. it's in Florida so um, just want to give you all a heads up. So we're gonna we'll post tomorrow. We want to share like when we get to this house and uh, when we see it. We want to share it with everybody. So we'll Facebook Live like late morning. We'll post and let you guys know when we're going to do it. So you'll see our reactions, whether it's good or bad. You know, you go all the way across halfway across the country to see something that uh, you don't know what you're gonna get until you get there. It's a little bit stressful. So no stress. All right, so that was a wild ride. Found an RV, hopped on an airplane, three days notice, drove an RV for the first time um, on our way back, on a 24 hour drive back. So there was a lot of firsts in that video um, and it was it was crazy, uh, but we just did it. It felt right. And yeah, we, so we got on this plane and when we got to Florida, we still had a two hour drive to uh, Fort Myers from Tampa and I told Tosh I'm like man this is a this is almost like one of those deals that's too good to be true we did get a good deal and um, we're very excited about it we're really excited about the RV itself but I'm like you know if we get down there and this thing isn't exactly what we think it is we need to be prepared to cut bait and fly home which was tough because we were anxious we were really excited about this RV and hey, we flew all the way to Florida. We spent a lot of money on those plane tickets. So yeah. it's like, hopefully this all works out. But we got to the um, to the RV place. Well, we'll show this video. And this is us arriving. People still don't know that we're going for an RV. They thought we were going for the house. That we we're going to look at a house. It was the way we worded it. So we had some fun with that. But anyway, not here's wrong. the video. <laughs> it's not wrong. Um, but here's the video of us arriving at the RV uh, dealership. <laughs> What are we doing? Um, we're driving. So we're in Fort Myers, in Florida, and uh, we're coming up to our potential new home. So we told you guys that we'd update you yesterday. 
So, uh, here we are. Tasha? <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to add, really. Excellent. Well, this has been a very productive <laughs> Facebook Live uh, video. So. Are we going to show them? Yeah, no, we're actually pulling in right now, so um, I don't really know where to go. <laughs> Rob's <laughs> trying to navigate and figure it out. Yeah. So, let's see, this is, um, <clears throat> this is where the new potential lackey home is at, and uh, I guess you can show them now. Oh, there you have a cover. <laughs> so we are here to pick up an RV. Surprise! <laughs> um, I don't know where we it's will, at. Uh, <clears throat> we'll update you when we see it and let you know how it is. Somewhere around here. If it all works out, then we're going to drive it home 21 hours over the next few days. And if it doesn't work out, then we're going to get back on a plane and go back home and look for the next one. So... We'll see. But, uh, we're pretty excited. A little anxious. Big step. <laughs> yes, we are crazy. We're gonna... No, Ronnie, we're not. Yeah, yeah, psych. I'm sorry for everybody that. So we got like a lot of texts. Everybody's mad at us last night because we said we were moving to Florida. I never said we were moving here. I just said that we were coming to look at a potential new house. Home. Which is accurate. It is. It's just happens to be in Florida and it's on wheels. So I'm mainly ex sorry to Erica, Rob's sister, because she was really excited because <laughs> I know she wants to live in Florida. So there were some people, some friends that were excited for us to move down here and family. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, we're not moving down here, but it's very nice. It is nice. It feels uh, sticky. I thought Oklahoma was the only place that was humid, but it's pretty rough. It's pretty gross. But they got they got palm trees here. You so. sneaky Adam. <laughs> yes. Sorry, sneaky. Adam. How are you upset? You live in Omaha. Yeah. I you don't left us first. This. You left oh, us. Oh look, hey, there it is. Oh, Boy, where is it? That thing's a beast. Uh oh. There. Hold on. I see it. There it is. It goes all the way back. So, it's a forty-foot toy hauler. So it's got a garage in the back. And a bunkhouse over the garage is pretty pretty wild beast. So uh, we're excited to see it and a little bit intimidated to drive it. But <laughs> oh, let's show them. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. we're here. Hold on. Hold, please. I'll try not to flash anyone. Uh, there we go. Rob, what you got there? Rough. Pretty amazing. Um, Randy, I think you have to be a professional racer to have a professional racing career. <laughs> hey, I'm a professional. I've got some money. Yeah, that there, Clark, is an RV. Oh, you've been dying to say that. <laughs> so this is kind of cool. So that window is the garage, and then the one above is the bunk for the, the kids' room. I'll show you that later. Yeah. Hey, Adam, what's up? All right, we're going to let you guys go. This is Tasha. Hi. Hey, everybody, this is Adam. Hi, Adam. Hello, everybody. You're on Facebook Live. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll <laughs> oh. here. All right, guys, we'll let you go. We'll show you the inside later. Yeah, Jarvis is just Bye. Bye. So what do you think, Rob? Does that love at first sight? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love this thing as soon as I saw it. I... Basically, as soon as I saw it, I knew we were going home with it, unless it was going to, like, fold in half on the way home. <laughs> because the colors are perfect. Could have been a problem. And it was just, it's such a cool rig. But uh, I still love it to this day. And I look around at all these big diesel pushers and everything. I wish we had a little bit more power in diesel, but with a toy hauler, it's hard, if not impossible, to get a good toy hauler with a diesel. Yeah. Um, unless you're talking about a semi-conversion, which is just a lot of money, a lot of money. But um, yeah, no, I, I really, I loved it. And when I drove it for the first time, I tell you what, I am a car guy. I love motorcycles, love cars, everything, but I've always wanted to own an RV. And I was intimidated the first time I sat in that chair. Like it, it's a lot of vehicle. It's a big RV. It's big. And so that now was, I've driven big trucks, but yeah, that this was is my, something. That was my initial reaction. It was just like, whoa. <laughs> it was like, 
Well, because you're sitting in a car and it pulls up and it's like twice or three times the height of your yeah. car and you're like... Ooh. And you can see in the video, it takes up, when it rolls into the frame, it takes up the entire yeah. frame and that's just the bottom half of it. it and it just keeps going. It's, it's, it's a big vehicle, but it's a lot of fun to drive. Like, I like driving cars, you know, I have fun in cars, obviously race motorcycles, I like speed, but driving this, I told her, I'm like, this might be as fun to drive as riding a motorcycle. On our way back from Florida, she's like, really? And I still feel that way. I, I just love driving this. That's good. Um, you get to do a lot of driving. Yeah. We'll see how I feel in another you know, nine or 10 After months. 16,000 16, miles. 16,000 miles. Yeah. <laughs> might, might not ever want to sit in a big truck again. But uh, anyway, I was really proud of her. Um, I drove. She drove. So now I got on the on-ramp at a truck stop onto the highway and then exited at a truck stop on okay. the highway. <laughs> but I drove. Driving on the highway, driving this thing on the highway is just as challenging as driving on the street, just in a different way. The yeah. first time a semi passes you, <laughs> it pushes you, the pressure pushes you onto the shoulder yeah. and you come back on, especially if there's a drop off the shoulder and the thing's all over the place. And I warned Tasha about it. You know, I said the first truck that passes you, you get ready to counter steer. And man, she just trucked along, so we got some footage of that. It's easy. We can show. Just yeah. So easy. We did not have a trailer. Yeah. But it also wasn't loaded down, so it was yeah. like really bouncy. Um, this thing drives a lot better loaded down. It's very stiffly spread. I haven't driven it since then. Yeah. So anyway, here we are. Um, and so we've got Rumble, and we've, we've been in it for six and a half months. Half, half a year and now we hit the road so we're very happy with our decision couldn't be happier with our purchase at Palm RV they did a great job yes. and uh, Lewis RV Jimmy Roberts down there at Lewis RV has done a good job with us on service and then uh, Brent Oldham and Christina Cook up there at um, Camping, World. Camping World they've been awesome too so yep. yeah so we're ready to roll almost almost ready but anyway um, that concludes episode two. We're talking about uh, our RV. Our RV. Our RV. Our, 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 our. <laughs> so, Sorry, we're a little dingy. It's been a long week. Make sure you get our YouTube page. Oh, no. You're at the YouTube page, but subscribe to it. Make sure you like the video. Okay. Subscribe to our YouTube page. And hit the Click little the bell, bell icon for notifications so you can hear here see see be notified of god so just do all the things that you know to do on youtube yeah the stuff everybody says just i don't know do why i have to page. tell you just do it just. <laughs> all right guys we love you all we appreciate you watching and uh hey look for episode three is going to be coming up pretty soon that that's when we start traveling it's about to get cray cray and uh, we'll be having these videos a little more frequently, and they'll be shorter. They'll be a little easier to swallow from this point forward, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. You're gonna have cool. to edit this one. I will edit this one. Your... <laughs> yes, I'll edit your stuff. Out. <laughs> You're... He's gonna edit me out. No, just your mistakes. Arr, arr, arr. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> hey, that was good blooper footage. <laughs> okay, y'all. Thank you for watching, Texas. We will see you. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh my God. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. No. Jeez. Are you okay? <laughs> you just cracked my knuckle. I'm sorry about that. Sorry. Bye guys. Bye.